Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the microphone our maid and mixture of honor, Elizabeth Wysocki and Curtis Strick. <laughs> trying to push it on the floor, <laughs> off the counter, I'm sorry, I'm sure it wasn't subconscious or anything, but needless to say, our relationship got off the wrong foot, and we would fight a lot growing up. As my mother would infamously do, she sat us on the steps, forced us to hug each other, and told us, well, threatened us, that we were sisters, and we would be best friends whether we liked it or not. <laughs> So while her tactic might have proven true in the long run, in the short run, it did not work. We constantly torment each other. We used to share a room, and we used to have our own bulletin boards, where we would hang up pictures of the family with little push pins. And I'm not sure who did this first, but when we were mad at the other person, we would take said push pin and punch each other's eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> Emily would also have a penchant for writing on walls and furniture. She wouldn't just write on walls and furniture. She would write her name on walls and furniture. <laughs> E-M-I-L-Y. Then, she the nerve to blame it on me. <laughs> it doesn't really work when you leave your golf card. And then when Harvey came around, we just had something else to fight about. Who would feed her, who would sit next to her, who would push her on the swing. Mom, show that twins. <laughs> <laughs> As the youngest, I am blessed with two great older sisters and great role models. And it being closest in age to Emily, she's always been the one that I turn to for advice or guidance. And now if you didn't know, Emily is pretty darn smart. And she was well known by the teachers of Long Valley. So a typical first day for me would involve a teacher asking, Oh, are you Emily Schmidt's little sister? <laughs> and I'd pretend to be annoyed with the association, but in reality, I was just so proud to be known as Emily's little sister. And happy to think that the teacher thought I was just as smart. <laughs> <laughs> Today, it's just as easy to look up to you as it did when I was little. Now, my parents constantly reminded me you know, your little sisters are looking up to you. You have to set a good example, whatever that means to an eight-year-old. <laughs> but I would set this example very well. I would teach Emily all sorts of useful things, such as the fact that the middle finger merely meant bad luck. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I never realized that her constant copying of me was her way of looking up to me, I just found her incredibly annoying. <laughs> but somewhere along the way, I feel like I lost my big sister cred, and I, the older sister, began to look up to Emily, the younger sister. I got into the same music she did, started borrowing her clothes, and then when she went off to Duke, her love of Duke basketball was contagious, and I suddenly found myself a die-hard basketball fan after spending four years in the school and never going to a single game. <laughs> so I was honored when I flew down to Duke and Emily got me into more games than I can count and I got to be a camera crazy jumping up and down next to my sister. It was one of the coolest moments of my life and I have her to thank for that. So it turns out copying her isn't so bad and my parents were right. It's a sign that she admires you. Now, Emily's love of Duke and all things Southern was certainly influenced by our family and our time inspired, uh, spent at summer camp in North Carolina each summer. And I loved having my older sister there at camp with me. I could just run over to her, just like having a way, and when I was homesick, she made me feel better. And at camp, we would sing a song around the campfire, and uh, it really represented my relationship with my sister. It goes, I have a sister who laughs when I'm happy, 
and I have a sister who cries when I'm blue. I know that she'll be there whenever I need her. I know that our friendship is true. Throughout my life and uh, throughout camp, <laughs> Emily has always been there for me every time I need her um, for a dance party, for advice. She's always there. So one of these summers after she came home from camp, Emily adopted a new little habit. She decided to start using the word y'all. <laughs> That's funny everything, but as I reminded her, you're from Jersey. <laughs> Even Dad just said, remember where you came from. <laughs> I understand one in the South, speak like the Southern, but you just keep pulling it off up here. But she persisted, and she hasn't been north of the Mason Dixon lines since she left for college. So it is very fitting that who should sweep her off her feet but none other than a kind, charming, southern gentleman who will allow her to say y'all to her little heart's content. <laughs> <laughs> Dave has been a great addition to our family, fitting in with our southern relatives as well as our family nerds. Wally has beaten beat Emily at the Sharks to hunt the beach yet, or the infamous Schmidt family Easter egg hunt. It's okay, Emily cheats. <laughs> he has taken such a great interest in our family's little quirks and gets all of our inside jokes, and I'm happy to welcome him as a brother to our family. Seeing Emily and David together is a bit like watching a love story come to life, and it's Sometimes their love is really sweet and so sugar-coated you think you're going to get a cavity. <laughs> they, they are the only couple I know that will kiss each other and then say, thank you. <laughs> Sisters there and still act like a couple that's in the lovey-dovey stage of the relationship. But Emily and David's love is the most genuine and tangible love that I know. A love truly worthy of envy. You can't help but have your heart grow just a little bit bigger by watching them. And Emily and David, we hope you remember that lovey dummy feeling. Remember the feeling of being surrounded by the family today. And we hope that love will continue to grow with you in the many years to come. So if you all will raise your glass. <laughs> um, the best part of today is now we have a sister and a brother who we know will always be there. For not only their friendship, but their love is true. Cheers. 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 Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, a great round of applause for Rachel Ryan. This is my shot. Yeah, I made a lot of